Love it. Absolutely love your dancing. It, Thank is, you. it is something I look forward to <laughs> every weekend. You need to get out more. I know. <laughs> need we to used get to get out a lot more, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. Yeah. We don't anymore, do we? No, no. It's a shame. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Sunday morning show. Good morning, Lester. Good morning, Dan. We have something very different. We do. A different, different format of show Slightly today. Slightly shaking it up a little bit. Almost like a limited edition, special edition sort of show. Well, and, and do we want to have feedback on this special limited edition thing? No. No. Okay. <laughs> No feedback. We that. have got a number of questions. We've had loads of questions over the last few months, really, but, that but, are... And the questions are getting more and more in-depth, yeah. rather than just a simple spoken explan explanation. Yeah. We thought we'd do a little bit of demo demonstration. And, Absolutely. And, and there's only so things. much we can do in the studio. So yeah. I thought today, as it is a beautiful day... Lovely day today. And you just get inundated with questions, we that we questions. would go out onto the putting green and actually read out the question and do it all from there. Perfect. Let's go. Let's go. This is where I feel at home on the putting green. I love putting. It's is like my favourite short game specialist. Oh, it's my favourite bit of the, uh, of the game, putting. What is the question that's kind of come in? So, and, and it's a, it's a long-winded question, yeah, so, but if you could just so, try and summarise it a little bit. Okay, me. so um, Lawrence Tolfrey. Yeah, so Lawrence. Tolfrey, Tolfrey, Hello, Lawrence. Uh, has asked a question about when you putt, he struggles with speed. Okay. So he's saying that he, he's a bit of a streaky putter. He, st he struggles with pace and speed of when he's putting. Yeah. Um, he's seen that Tiger Woods putts one-handed occasionally, does some drills. Yeah, he does, yeah. Right-hand um, putting. Right-hand putting, Tiger yeah. does. And he was just wondering which hand we believe should be more dominant when you putt to control the pace. Okay. So we'll do a little experiment. Uh, we'll use both our hands one at a time yeah. and see which one we feel that controlling the pace. What do you think it is? What, what, on a gut feeling, just if you were going to just yeah. instantly answer that question. I would say um, for a right-handed golfer, it would be your right hand because that's just generally your strongest side. Um, that's what I'm right hand dominant. So I think my right hand, I, I write my right hand, I throw a ball with my right hand, I yeah. play golf right-handed, yeah. I kick with my right foot. So my right side is dominant. I'd say my right hand would influence the... Um, for the pace of putt and speed. So the problem I've got... Yes, you have got some issues here, haven't you? <laughs> I've got general issues. <laughs> the problem I've got is that I am a right-handed golfer, I throw right-handed, but I play tennis left-handed, I play pool left-handed, I kick football left-footed, I write right-handed, I'm a little bit all over the place. So I'm not really too sure which hand is gonna be the most dominant in this situation. <laughs> But we're going to have a little uh, challenge and we're going to find out which hand is going to be more dominant for Leicester and we're going to ha find out which hand is going to be more dominant for me and hopefully that will give you a bit of a gauge or a little bit of an idea on how you can experiment yourselves to find out which hand you should be focusing on when trying to get the pace right. Can I explain that all right? I think so, yeah. Sounds right to me. Let's have a go. Bambi is just literally wandering up to see which hole we're going to use. So we've got one here, this one here is at 20 paces away, this one is at about 15 paces, and then this one down here is only at about, probably about 9 paces. So you're a bit concerned about the long one being a bit too long, aren't you? Yeah, possibly. Possibly a bit long? But right, we'll have a go, shall we? So I'm going to use my right hand first. Okay, so then let's start. I'm going to hit three, three balls at it. Three balls, right-handed. Let's see how he gets on with this. Okay, a little bit pacey to get you going with, but not bad. You'd take it, wouldn't you? Yeah. Rolled quite nice. It did roll quite nicely. And again. That was not hit quite hard enough. A bit short on that one. Last one. Last one. Okay, let's wander up and take a little look. That's not, that's going in. Oof, just burnt the edge. Oh, we had it, maybe it should have got one-handed. That's very good. Right, so that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. One just a fraction short. Was that a yeah. miss hit, or was that all right? Yeah, it was just the strike wasn't quite. Just a bit low on the, on, yeah. the, on the, and then these two here are very, very solid. I just okay. feel like with that, you're almost like releasing the club. Okay, right, well, I've got three coins. I've got 90p here. Have oh, yeah. you? So if you, if you, you want pop those, really? I've won, yeah. <laughs> that's, my, that's my dinner money. <laughs> so if you mark them up, and then we'll do that experiment again, but this time with your left so hand. So I'm marking them behind, okay? Marking them behind, yeah. yeah. 
Okay, perfect. Right, let's let's go and do left it with hand. the left hand. Right, instantly, how is the left hand feeling to you? I feel like I've got more face control. Oh wow. Um, We're getting pretty detailed here. Yeah, aren't we? I felt like obviously with the right hand, I felt like I was almost releasing that club. Yeah, so that's what Tiger works on. That's the thing that Tiger does, isn't it? That feels more stable. Okay, there we go. this is interesting, isn't he? He's getting right into it. I like this. Pretty solid stuff. That's in. Oh, oh my word. How that missed? How is that missed? I'm done. Again, the solid strike. A little bit low this time, but well, you're gonna have to do something pretty, pretty not very good. <laughs> pretty not very good. Pretty not very good <laughs> to get to not beat your to not beat the right hand here. Oh. Oh, it was a miss here as well, wasn't it? Nope. That's got to go, but that has, Bernie, that has... Well, I can see from here that you've pretty much yeah. beaten it, haven't you? Yeah. Mm, what are you thinking? It's interesting. So, the worst, two worst ones, okay, this one here against this one here, so that one's obviously beaten it, so that's, that's pretty good. And then, if we go to the two best ones, well, that one's beaten it, and then that one's probably about tied it, maybe it's just fractionally inside again? Surprising that. That is a bit surprising to you, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, right, can I have a go? Yeah, of course. My first thoughts are exactly the same as what you thought at the beginning. I'm a left, I feel like I'm more left hand dominant because again, I feel like I've got left hand action going on here with, with me being left handed, but I feel like I'm going to be more controlled um, left hand. Where did you put your other hand? Pocket. Oh, your yeah. pocket, was it? I'll stop checking. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good, just drifting to the right, but it's good low. for weight. Run on a little bit. Run on a little bit. Again, pretty Again good. Again right, yeah, it's pushing them a little, leaving them a little bit out right. Really good strike though on that last one. Yeah. It felt really quite nice. I'm going to go in a bit further left this time. That's that's a bit pacing, yeah, a bit hard. Initial thoughts? I'm 100% agreeing with what you're saying. I feel like I've got complete control of the club face there. Yeah. So I feel like this hand is not wanting to flick at all. No. It's just feeling like it's like this left wrist is staying really firm. Yeah. But I'll be honest, I felt like I had a good amount of control with that hand. Yeah, I felt like the putter was almost attached to my left arm. Yeah, so it felt like almost it, it locked. ran, ran yeah. up straight down through. I Whereas agree with that. right hand I feel more disconnected with. Okay. So Dan's putted his three shots here. Pretty good. So, yeah, they're pretty good. The first one's what, three foot up the hill, the second yeah. one's about four foot, and then maybe That last one was six just a bit foot. pacey, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, right yeah. hand now. Right hand now, yeah. So this is the drill that, that, Tiger used, that Tiger does when he gets up on the green. So he's he wants to feel a little bit of release with the right hand as yeah. the putter comes through. I, cer I certainly felt that when I was putting with well, right-handed. Yeah, you, feel... you, you felt that you were trying to release it Yeah, naturally. I almost feel like I had a bit of rotation of the, of the putter head. Right, okay, yeah, I, I get yeah. that. So that's hit that quite hard. He's actually de-green that. That's close to being in the... Out of yeah, that's yeah. That's out of bounds. <laughs> That yeah, good that, control that. That right hand flicked like you've never. That's better, yeah. Still, still not, yeah, still ran on a little bit. Initial thoughts are. Initial thoughts are. I feel like I've got so much more control left hand. That's pretty, pretty good. Feel, yeah, I, I just feel, feel like I feel like my left hand is completely controlling that club. Yeah. If if my right if my right hand is left to its own devices, then I don't it just I don't feel like I've got any control over the head of the putter at all. No. So my initial thoughts are if you're working on releasing that putter yeah. and you're you're putting sort of from from um, in to square to in, so yeah. making that sort of you know, as we call it, the, the revolving door. Yeah. Then you might want to use your right hand to get that feeling, because I really felt like I was releasing that putter. Yeah. But if you're looking for stability and for pace, I would use your left hand to keep that nice and stable, and to, you know, an extension of your left arm. So here's another question for you. Yeah. I would say that probably one of my weaknesses is my pace control sometimes. So I'm not 
I'm not the best when I get to long distance putting I, I can do this especially when I move around from green to green to green at different golf courses when we play so do I need because obviously my left hand was actually working really quite well do I not need to just try and improve my right hand if it's something that Tiger Woods is working on because he's working on a release and trying to get maybe some feel in his right hand is it something that me and you probably now need to go away and work on and see if we can improve on that? I mean, I definitely need to improve my putting. So, I mean, it's an interesting point, isn't it? I haven't really thought about using one hand and which one was dominant over the other. Yeah. Um, I personally tend to putt left below right, which you do as well, to get my shoulders square to the target. I always yeah. felt the other way that I had my right shoulder low yeah. and I was almost getting the wrong sort of angle of attack into the ball. Okay. Um, but... I've just seen the benefits of putting one-handed and, you know, players in the past used to do that, didn't they? Yeah. Um, so possibly it could help, like you said, it could actually help get your right hand as solid as your left and yep. you suddenly, you know, both hands working together. Just looking at my, my results here, so I've got one OB, that's out of bounds. If you compare that to my worst in that one, I mean, it's obviously it hit the slope and went. So that obviously that, that, that left hand is beating that one. Then we go to closest to closest. So this one against that one. So that 20p against that ball there. That ball there is beating that left hand. Was it or about the same? Similar, yeah. Not Similar. Like that, yeah. And then yeah. this one beats it. So yeah. even though it kind of probably looks a bit of a difference, it's not actually a massive no. difference, is it? That, no. that, that one OB just got away from me a little bit. I guess it's more the feeling we were getting, isn't it? That the left arm's solid, one-handed, mm -hmm. yep. whereas the right hand, you had a little bit of movement in it. I felt like my left hand had a lot more, as you rightly said, face yep. control, and my distance just control control. was a lot easier with that. Yeah. So I actually think that's quite a fascinating experiment there. Not one that I've ever really played around with before. I've never really had that question come in before like that. So I find that now that we've been through it, I find it quite a fascinating experiment to see what the results were going to be. The good thing is we both feel that left hand is going to get more control with the speed and we feel like we've got better face control as well with that left hand. 100%. Even though you're right hand dominant and I'm, I'm, a, I'm all over the place, but you're yeah. right hand dominant and even Lester felt like he had more control with his left hand than he did his right hand. So good question. Very good question. Uh, yeah. Really interesting, never done that experiment no. before and you know, take what you will from it, but definitely worth having a little practice with right hand and left hand. Well, yeah, like, absolutely right. Any of these questions which, um, you know, they just sort of get us, you know, something that we're not used to doing and stuff, or something we haven't even thought about, well, it's brilliant, isn't at it? At the end of the day, and this it's is their this show. Is, well, it is their it's show, their but show. it's, it's the, the whole idea of me starting up a YouTube channel was a journey for just, not just for me, but for everybody. So as we learn, everyone else can learn at the same time, because yeah. it's not a case of me, me or you or everybody else knowing everything about the game of golf. It's right. about how can we learn along the way and how can we share that experience as we go yeah. through our journey, yeah. on, journey on YouTube. So this week, let's give a quick rundown of what's yeah. happening this week. So we are off to the point of Pole Zeph. What, that was a fun day? Yeah, I love that. Brilliant. Great um, golf course. Me and you, the big re... This is a big, big, big rematch. rematch. Big rematch. Big rematch, yeah. yeah. And I think... Well, and what I love about this rematch is I don't want to give away too much, but it does go all the way. It goes all the way. All 18 holes. All 18 holes are yeah. played at the point of Pole Zeth. So... Yeah. Not only do you get to see a good game, but obviously you get to see a great golf course as well down in Cornwall. So um, that's it coming up. Yeah. Um, and then uh, next week I'm away, so you're just you are, you are in charge. Off for a 50th birthday party. I'm off for a 50th birthday party for a very good friend of mine who I know watches this show. So happy birthday, Alistair Maxwell. Happy birthday, Alistair. And we are going to be away on a bit of a special boys trip. All right. I never, and I I will, never the invite. I no. will. I'm sure I'll bring something <laughs> back for you. Uh, and then at the end of the week is my birthday. It is. Yeah, your 39th birthday. 39th birthday. Yeah. Still a year Catching behind me up, you. Though. Always, I'll always be a year behind you. I love it. So there it is. We'll see everybody next see Sunday. Next Sunday. See you next Sunday.